Okay, it says update D from dick slash iterable E and F. Okay, so basically, we use this method on a dictionary, and then as the arguments, we can actually see here where we get. Oops, I just got rid of it. Uh, see here where we have the two stars. That actually means I forget where, whether I've covered this. I might have, but there's something called. Um, Basically, this double star means um, first get get the value of the first argument into the variable e, and then star star f means for any other um, arguments put them in the array f. Okay, so if we supply we could supply an infinite number of arguments into this uh, function because it actually allows us to by using this double star f. So if you've got data from like well, it's really unrealistic that you would, but let's say you want you've got one um, dictionary which you want to be the master dictionary, let's say, but you've got all the data in like f seven other dictionaries, you know, all over the place. All you need to do is use on the master dictionary use a method update and then supply each um, each of the seven dictionaries as an argument in this method. Okay, so it's really it's a really useful method. Let's create a second dict so we can just demonstrate this equals whatever doesn't really matter. Um, and also, if you have a key value or if you have um, a value such as val one, val one is already in on my dict. So let's give it a new value in this dictionary. We'll say it's high world now. Now let's call my dict to update supplying my dict two. Now what actually happens if we take a look at my dict is um, it updates all the keys which were in here. Um, sorry, it updates all the keys in our original dictionary to all the keys which were in the dictionary that we supplied as an argument. Okay, so you need to be careful about that if you don't want to update those. In fact, um, but also. For any that for any keys it didn't find, it just inserts them into our dictionary. So now we've got four values, um, whereas before we had three. It's updated one because this one had the same key, and it's inserted a new key value pair, which was that one. Okay. The next um, two well, actually it's uh, four functions, but they're all really similar, so we'll fly by them. Uh, so the next one we're going to look at is actually the keys function. Now this is almost identical in terms of um, the way it works, well, the way it works or what it does. I guess what it does actually to the two functions items and iter items. In fact, we have the functions keys and iter keys and then the next two or well, the last two are values and iter values. So the keys function, if we call it on my dict, it returns as a list of the keys um, in my dict and my dict dot iter keys actually returns as an iterator object of um, the keys in my dict. Uh, if we wanted to make that into a list, I don't know why you'd call um, do this because the keys function you can use a key function for this. Um, but if you wanted to change the iter key, the iterator that's returned by iter keys into a list. Just use the list function around it, okay, like this. And there we go. And then X has a list of the keys, okay. So that's two ways. We're going to look more at iterators later on, um, and they are very useful uh, as iterators as opposed to converting them into something like a list. So don't just write them off as useless and just turn them into a list all the time. They they are useful. Um, but anyway, to just finish this off. The values, it's pretty self explanatory. My dict dot values returns a list with the values, and then my dict dot iter values again returns an iterator. And if you wanted to make it into a list, you just use the list function around it. Iter values. That's it, yeah. And there we go. Okay. Uh, so that's all the uh, dictionary methods we're going to look at for now. Um, I forget what we're moving on to, but it's. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the point where actually we've still got some boring stuff to cover. 
uh, I'll tell you that now. But after that, it does start to get interesting. So uh, just hold on and uh, wait for it. Anyways, for now, over now.